right, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew the Moo here, and here we are with more, 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 more. Let's resume the game, shall we? So we're supposed to talk to Mr. Babinski, but I want to take a look at Mr. Babinski's picture first. Uh, yeah, we're gonna deface Mr. Babinski, cause it's fun. Oh yeah. Ah, much better. We just absolutely trounce the guy's pictures. So, uh, ah, we've got the egg so far. Did you get that? Cause I didn't. As he somehow, oh no, uh. I missed it, I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, unicycle, I don't care. Let's just talk to, ooh, whoa, this looks like. Yeah. Coraline dresses up as a Russian mine. So you get five points for that. Let's just take a look at the unicycle. Uh, apparently the unicycle does nothing, so it just says talk to Bobinski. That's amazing, Mr. B. This I know. Good work, Caroline. We make amazing team. Now, let's do juggling act together. Pay attention. When I throw beats to you, you react quickly. Focus. Okay. Ready? Go. I don't know how to do this. Okay, so... Ah, it's telling me that I need to, um... Concentrate. Okay. Like, I guess I'm doing what's right. It's not really... Focus? Um, uh, I, I don't know. Am I? Almost there. Okay, I, that's great. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing at the moment, but sure. I'm juggling, I guess. I juggled? Huh? That's fantastonishing. Whatever I did, it was fantastonishing. So that's great right there. Fantastonishing. I don't know what I was doing just then. It was like just tapping the butt. Good job, Caroline. You could be a good performer. Maybe even amazing like me. One day. If you practice more, like my Mishkas, you maybe join me for the almighty circus. That? I could use someone like you, Caroline. <laughs> a good idea, that? Yeah, we'll talk to mice. Yeah, mice would probably... Uh, mice would probably... Oh, <laughs> I should go home now. My mom's gonna kill me if she comes back and not find me home. Bye bye, Mr. B. Uh, that that was kind of weird. I don't know what to make of that, but all right. So let's head on uh, down back to the house, and we're gonna find that mom and dad are missing, and we're gonna need to crawl through the hole to rescue them. Ha ha. Because that's the way this game works. Uh, or rather, the story worked. So, I, I, I will admit this game is one of those games that, playing it, I could see that there was potential to be had. But, man, there's so many mistake, missteps that have gone on in making it. Like, I don't know who the general target audience is. Because some of this stuff is like little kitty things. You know, like... You know, just just like find the mouse. Oh, great! It's the easiest version of Where's Waldo. And some of the other things, like having to stack that stuff up, I'm like, Ki seriously, you just crawl through the hole after everything that's gone on? Seriously? Really? Why? Oh, forcible and spink, and thankfully it's not the awkward version of forcible and spink, I hope. Because this could get really weird really fast, and I don't know if I'm quite ready for this. Uh...
Hey there, Coraline. Mother wanted me to wait here for you. Here's a ticket to Miss Spink and Miss Forcible's performance today. She thinks you'll really like it. She really does know you best. Wow, that sounds great. Your little friend is already there waiting for you. You're already late, so go on. All right, let's go see other Spink and other Forcible. This may get awkward. And I was just saying not long ago, I'm kind of glad that they skipped that section. Oh, joy of joys. We may get to see seashells. I really hope we don't get to see seashells. I will say on the plus side, playing this game actually makes me want to rewatch the uh, the movie. I I want to rewatch um, Carol uh, Caroline Coraline. I may actually do that tonight. Um, so that's at least one good thing about this uh, movie. Look at this. Ooh, I can interact with this guy. Sup, dude? Ah, Forcible and Spink are theater performers. Ah, what famous play does Spink and Forcible have a poster on their wall? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Hamlet. Nuts. Uh, where, where is Miss Spink's and Miss Forcible's favorite candy from? B -b London. What name do the people call you in the boring normal world? A uh, Caroline. The amazing Busbinski does what? Acrobatics. Alright. I I I kinda botched that up a little bit. Oh, oh. Again, it's a shame your charms only work when that big gob of yours is open. Just the same slipper or fork from those top heavy fish women, they'll turn tail and run for the shore. I'm not liking this, I'm not liking this in the least bit. Be nothing but a bad omen. Luck up and can't help but to. Ah! Listen. Come the on. Song rings out from there, and... Yeah, I don't care. Did I finish? Yeah! I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm glad that's over. And I saw the awkward seashell stuff. Ah! After their Song of the Seas performance, if that is what you could call it, Spink and Forcible appeared high above the stage, each balancing precariously on a seemingly undersized diving board. In a matter of moments, Spink and Forcible transformed their routine into something that was much easier on the eyes. Coraline discovered that she was actually the star of the show. Luckily, there weren't many moves to learn. Coraline soon found herself receiving a round of applause. Alright, so let's talk to the ladies. We'll start over here. Ready to have some fun, Coraline? I don't know what I'm doing right now! This is not fun in the least bit! This is like awkward! Uh. No! I'm sure I can get this. Great. There we go! One out of 17. We're making progress. Ugh. Yeah! We got three out of seven. Seven. I need seven. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to get seven. Ah! 
Oh, I might just get it. I might just get it. No! Yes! I am so sorry for screaming. Like, I just don't want to have to redo this stuff. I just want to punch through the game. Do you like to play the pop-up target minigame? No! I don't want to play that game. Moving target? No! It was great fun, Miss Spink. Miss Forcible. That was a splendid debut, Coraline. Imagine the love of the audience washing over you every night. Hard to resist, eh? Coraline, dear, would you give us a hand in setting up background props for the next performance? The theater never rests. Use your slingshot to get them down to their right positions on the stage. Seriously? Sure. I would love to help. Seriously? Okay, so I'm just gonna move over here. Alright, just, just... This, again, uh, like I said, some of this stuff, I, I... I don't understand what they were going for. It's like, hey, kids would love this stuff. No, they wouldn't. Kids would like it agitated in a heartbeat over the stuff that you're trying to pull with some of this. Like, the, the volleyball thing a moment ago? Oh, good grief, that was like an agitation. Had me screaming in the end. I'm back to that same complaint. Although I, 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 I will say, seeing Spink and Spink, 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 Spink and Forcible, as far as the seashells, that 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 made this really awkward for me because I, I was like hoping to avoid that. Nope, front and center, like oh, oh. Nice job. Fantastic, astonishing. You did a simple, stupid task. off to prepare for our next show now. I hope you will come back and join us for another performance. Bye-bye. The other YB led Coraline to her other parents. They looked dashing in the moonlight. Coraline's other parents rewarded her with a special present. A shiny new pair of black button eyes. Coraline couldn't believe it. She hoped that it was just some cruel joke. Unfortunately for Coraline, what came next was even worse. All right, so we <clears throat> finished this stage. Uh, and so this is the point where things start getting really dark in the, uh, in the movie and in the book. And uh, other mother realizes or t shows herself for who she is. Because most of you have probably seen the movie or read the book by now. And it's Whitey. other Whitey. Coraline, is that you? Where do you think you're going? Come with me, Whitey. You cannot run away from me. have to get out of here fast so the weird thing to me is the fact that the movie didn't really or the game didn't really like show the transformation it's just now all of a sudden hey I'm mean but one of the things that I really got out of this um, was if you look at the way that YV or other YV and other father are they both really still cared uh, for Coraline Whereas other mother could not have cared uh, less about her, and I'm waiting to turn on the uh, the thing. Oop, oop, oop. Ah, yeah, interact, interact, interact. Um, and, and, and there's a reason for that uh, because of the fact I think if I turn these on, uh, ah, the mice still attack me even though I've got the lights. That's not good. Okay, so I want to pull this back out, and, and okay, there's that. So I'm going to pull this back in. Okay. Uh, because up until the very end, where they're kind of forced uh, to act in the manners that they do, their main thought process was helping Coraline and really caring for her, because that's the way they were created. 
But uh, other mother never ever really cared for. Eh, I don't want to keep those. Never really cared about Coraline, and it shows a lot in the actions um, uh, towards other wifey, other father, the other uh, characters, and uh, obviously uh, Coraline. All right, let's take those guys out. And I hate the fact that the rats can still attack me. Um, if, even if I'm moving around with this, I really want to put this up at the moment. Ouch! Eh. Okay, throw this out and start running. All right, she really wants to do a number to me. Pull this out long enough to do that. Throw it back in. Because I don't see where there are rooms where I can fill back up. Just did. Just did run away from you. Uh, oh, look at Wyvy! Wait a minute, how far along into the game are we? Because Wyvy on the motorcycle. Hmm. Alright, I'm kind of curious as to how, how far along we are at the moment. Mom? Dad? Because we should be getting to the point where, like, mom and dad, you know, there's some realizations and things of that nature. But we'll talk about that kind of more in the next episode. This is Andrew the Moo, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys!